Greetings. Welcome to our sixth episode of the FGI podcast series. My name is Tim Stark, and I am a professor of civil engineering at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. Hi, everyone. I'm Jen Miller. I'm the coordinator of the Fabricated Geomembrane Institute, or the FGI. On today's episode, we are going to focus on air channel testing of fabricated geomembranes. All right, Tim, let's get right to it. What is air channel testing? Air channel testing is the pressurizing of a split wedge seam with air pressure. And the importance of that is it's able to test the entire length of the seam. This is important for all of the field seams, even though most of the seaming of the geomembrane occurs in the factory. Generally, about 60 to 80 percent of all the geomembrane seams are created in the factory where the air channel test does not have to be performed as well as destructive tests do not have to be performed. So it's really only the 20 to 40 percent of the field seams that we can test using the air channel test procedure. Okay, so why is air channel testing so important? Because it not only tests the entire length of the seam, but it does it non-destructively. So we do not have to take a physical sample of the seam in the field and then send it to a laboratory for for shear and peel seam testing, seam strength testing. It if the seam passes, the seam's good. We do not have to destructively take a sample of the seam and thus create a hole in our finished geomembrane. Got it. So what is the test procedure for air channel testing? The test procedure is described in ASTM test method D, as in David, 7177. And in short, the test procedure involves allowing the seam to cool after welding. If it's a wedge welded seam, we allow five minutes for cooling. If it's a hot air welded seam, we allow 10 minutes. After these cooling periods, the air channel is pressurized with air. And the level of pressurization is controlled by the thickness and the sheet temperature of the geomembrane. The required air pressure is correlated or it was correlated through some research we conducted here at the University of Illinois to a peel strength of 15 pounds per inch or 2.6 newtons per millimeter. We correlated it to the peel strength of the seam because when you inflate the air channel you're trying to physically peel apart both sides of the split wedge welded seam. Okay, so that kind of goes through the test procedure. So what applications are suitable for air channel testing of geomembrane seams? Any application that uses a fabricated geomembrane can utilize the air channel test procedure in D7177. The benefit of the air channel test in the field is with these more flexible geomembranes, when the air channel is inflated, it looks like a little bicycle tube inflated. And so not only do you get a quantitative assessment of the field seam, you also get a field or a visual inspection of the seam. So if there's any dirt or defect in the seam, it'll show up as an aneurysm instead of a nice bicycle tube in the field. So in addition to the pressure that's required to achieve the required peel strength of 15 pounds per inch or 2.6 newtons per millimeter, um, we get a visual inspection. And ASTM test method D7177 has a table, it's called table one, that gives the pressure required 
to hold in the air channel as a function of sheet temperature. So for example, at a sheet temperature of 90 degrees Fahrenheit, the seam must hold 25 pounds per square inch for 30 seconds or 172 kilopascals for 30 seconds. And if it does, you know the peel strength is greater than 15 pounds per inch or 2.6 newtons per millimeter, and that seam meets the required peel strength. Okay, great. Is there anything else you want to add about air channel testing today? Um, I think that covers it. There's a article from Geosynthetics or Geotechnical Fabric Reports, or GFR, now known as Geosynthetics Magazine, in March 2005, Volume 23, Number 2, that describes the procedure and has some great pictures of field seams that are inflated that look like a bicycle tube and figure photograph four in that article shows a little aneurysm and if an aneurysm develops we patch that area just in case that little area would have a leak during its service life so that's another beauty of the air channel test we can patch all these little aneurysms which numerically pass the test but we put a additional reinforcement over top that's a great idea. So as Tim just mentioned, uh, this article that he referred to a lot in, in this podcast, it's available on our website. It's a, on both the podcast page of our website, as well as the uh, journal articles page of our website. And that's www.fabricatedgeomembrane.com. Great. So we're going to end with our tagline. <laughs> yep, of course. Okay. My tagline. <laughs> Quality installed faster when you factory fabricate first. And may all your geomembranes be factory fabricated. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Bye.